You've probably heard that vitamin D is a critical nutrient that most people don't get enough of. And I'm guessing you know that vitamin D supports our immune system and helps maintain healthy bones. But did you know that vitamin D plays many other crucial roles in the body, from regulating hormones, to keeping our heart healthy, to protecting our brain? In this video, I'm gonna share three little known yet vital benefits of vitamin D. I'll also tell you how to make sure you're getting enough of this essential vitamin as we head into the winter months. Ready? Let's dive in. Hey everyone, I'm Chris Kresser with another Tuesday tip video for you. Vitamin D is critical for health. Virtually every cell in the body has a vitamin D receptor, and vitamin D has been shown to influence the expression of more than 200 genes. Vitamin D promotes calcium absorption in the intestine and protects against osteoporosis, rickets, and bone fracture. It also regulates immune function, cell growth, and neuromuscular function. These are the better known functions of vitamin D. But over the past few years, scientists have discovered additional benefits of vitamin D that weren't previously well known. For example, Australian researchers published a study suggesting that low vitamin D levels promote inflammation and that boosting vitamin D in deficient people may reduce chronic inflammation. The researchers looked at the genetic data of almost 300,000 people in the UK Biobank, a database of people living in the United Kingdom, they found that people with low levels of vitamin D had higher levels of C-reactive protein, or CRP. CRP is a compound produced by the liver in response to inflammation, so high levels of CRP signal that inflammation is present. High CRP levels and chronic inflammation have been linked to virtually all modern chronic diseases that plague us today, from cardiovascular and autoimmune disease, to type 2 diabetes, to dementia and Alzheimer's. Increasing vitamin D levels in deficient people may be a simple, cost-effective way to help them avoid several chronic health problems. Another lesser-known benefit of vitamin D is that it helps fight depression. A meta-analysis of 41 studies published by researchers in Finland found that low vitamin D levels are associated with depression, and supplementing with vitamin D was effective in improving mood in depressed adults. Why would vitamin D reduce depression? Well, we just covered one of the biggest reasons. It lowers inflammation. Many scientists now believe that depression isn't caused by a chemical imbalance or low serotonin levels as previously believed. Instead, it's driven by inflammation, which often originates in the gut. Check out my video, The Little Known Link Between Inflammation and Depression for more on this. I'll put a link to that in the description. Another reason is that vitamin D helps to regulate the central nervous system which can be dysfunctional in depressed people. The last lesser known benefit of vitamin D I wanna to cover today is that it extends lifespan. Another group of Australian researchers published a study linking low vitamin D to premature death. The more severe the vitamin D deficiency, the greater the risk of early death. They also examined about 300,000 records from the UK Biobank and found that serum 25D levels lower than 10 nanograms per milliliter which is 25 nanomoles per liter, increase the risk of death by 25% compared to people with vitamin D levels above 20 nanograms per milliliter or 50 nanomoles per liter. To recap, in addition to the already established immune and bone health benefits of vitamin D, we now know that it also reduces inflammation, fights depression, and extends lifespan. So these are three more good reasons why it's crucial to maintain optimal vitamin D levels. Sadly, most people are not doing that. According to the Linus Pauling Institute, 94% of Americans aren't getting enough vitamin D. Well, what do I mean by getting enough? The lab range for 25D, the best marker for assessing vitamin D levels in the blood, is 30 to 74 nanograms per milliliter. However, the Vitamin D Council in the U.S. suggests a higher range of 40 to 80 nanograms per milliliter with a target of 50 nanograms per milliliter. For most people, I think 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter is a good target range. Those with autoimmune disease, low bone density, depression, or other chronic inflammatory conditions may want to shoot for the higher end of that range. Most people in the U.S. and other industrialized countries like the U.K. and Canada are falling short of these guidelines which is why supplementation is often necessary. There are three ways to increase your vitamin D levels. The first is sun exposure, but this isn't a practical source of vitamin D for many people at most times of the year. For example, if you live in Boston or London and it's winter time, you will not be able to meet your vitamin D needs from sun exposure alone. 
The second is food. Some foods like cold water, fatty fish, and pasture-raised meat do contain vitamin D, but most people don't eat enough of these foods to meet their vitamin D needs. The third source of vitamin D is supplements. The amount of supplemental vitamin D needed to maintain a blood level between 40 and 60 nanograms per milliliter depends on several factors, including health status, body mass index, and digestive function. Most studies suggest that 2,000 IU per day is the minimum amount required. This is important because the majority of multivitamins on the market contain much less than this. But people with obesity, chronic inflammation, and poor digestion may require 5,000 IU per day or even 10,000 IU per day to reach the target level. If you do take a higher dose of 5 to 10,000 IU per day, I suggest getting your blood levels tested every six months or so. Vitamin D can be toxic at high doses, and while toxicity is rare, it's a good idea to track your levels. It's also important to note that the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K work synergistically. Maintaining adequate levels of vitamin A and K2, for example, has been shown to support vitamin D functions and protect against the potential toxicity of vitamin D. Magnesium and potassium also protect against vitamin D toxicity and enhance its effects. For example, magnesium is required to convert the inactive form of vitamin D into the active form. This means that even if you're supplementing with vitamin D, you could still suffer from a vitamin D deficiency if you're not getting enough magnesium. And again, most people do not get enough of many of these nutrients that support vitamin D's functions and reduce vitamin D toxicity. If you're looking for a one-stop shop supplement stack that can help you meet most of your important nutrient needs, check out the Core Plus bundle from Adapt Naturals. From essential vitamins like A, D, E, and K, to minerals like magnesium and zinc, to phytonutrients like bioflavonoids and polyphenols, it's got you covered. Go to adaptnaturals.com to learn more, and I'll put a link in the description. Okay, that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to click the subscribe button in the lower right and tap the notification bell so you'll be updated when I release new content. And if you know someone that might benefit from this, please share it by clicking the share button right under the video. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.